What's up everybody? Today we're going to learn how to find the four aces with the help of your mind and a spectator. So today's video, we're going to do a self-working card magic trick with a bit of mind control. So for the trick today, we're going to take a deck of cards and I'm going to look through and I'm going to find two predictions. So this can be any deck, can be your deck, can be a borrowed deck, but I'm just going to find two predictions in here. So I'm just looking through, I'm going to pull out two cards. So that's one. That's two. So I have my two cards here, and those are my prediction cards. So here I've got Ace of Diamonds and Ace of Clubs. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand the cards off to a spectator, and I'm going to use Mind Control, and I'm going to get them to pick another two cards. So as I don't have a spectator due to Corona, I'm going to do it myself. So what you do is you tell the, the spectator some instructions, is to start dealing down cards. And whenever they want, they can say stop. However, you are controlling them with your mind, so you're going to make them stop on the exact card that you want. But when the spectator stops, what you're going to do is take one of the prediction cards, and you're going to put that face up on the face down deck, and put the rest of the cards on top. The spectator is then going to pick them up and start to deal down again. So again, keep dealing down, and you're saying, with your mind control, you're going to make the spectator stop on the card that you want them to do. So there, the spectator stop. And then again, you take the prediction card, put that on top of the deck, and put the rest of the cards on. And from there, what you can do is you take the cards back, have a flick through, and as you can see, your prediction is face up in the middle of the deck. So you take them and look through and find the other prediction, which we need the bottom somewhere. As you can see there, there's the two predictions. So as you can see here, you're left with your two predictions and the two cards which the spectator stopped at, which you controlled with your mind. The next thing to do is now the cards are on the table like this, either yourself or the spectator can turn the cards over. So as you can see here, the first one is the ace, and the next one is the ace. And by the power of mind control, you made the spectator stop on the exact same cards which you predicted. So that's my little twist on the Gemini Twins card trick which I filmed last week and this is just a variation so you can use it in a different way and use the four aces rather than two different cards. If you've been following my web series on here with the beginning card magic you'll have seen my video regarding the four P's of card magic that is preparation, practice, patter and performance. In that video I discussed about how it's better to have one card trick which can have five different variations of it than five different variations of different card tricks. Because when you're practicing it, you only have to practice that one trick, make some slight variations, and it's a completely different trick, but the same methodology. So in this case, this is the exact same as the Gemini Twins, apart from it's a different twist, which we produce four aces. So if you've seen that video, you'll know exactly what to do. If not, then we'll go through it now. We can use a borrowed deck, or we can use one of our decks. What we need to do is a quick little setup, which you did need to do in the Gemini Twins, because it's a slight variation, but it's nice, quick, and simple and you can do it unnoticed when you're just looking through the cards. So again, when you're looking through, what you need to do is you need to find the aces, and when you find one of them, it needs to go on the top of the deck. And when you find another ace, it needs to go on the bottom of the deck. So when you're flicking through, you can just sort of do that. Once you've got that set up with the ace on the top and the ace on the bottom, you can even do riffle shuffles, as long as you keep the ace on the top and the ace on the bottom. So that's it set up. It was nice and simple like that, so you can do it just while you're talking to someone, just rearrange some of the cards and that sort of thing. As long as you've got that done, the rest of the trick's easy. So then what you need to do is just say, right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up two prediction cards, and while you're doing that, you need to flick through the deck like this, you need to find the other aces. So like that. And you pull them out, and that's your two predictions. It doesn't matter what colour the aces are, you can have the two red aces still in the deck here and two black aces on here or a red and a black. Doesn't make any difference as long as you've got the aces. So now you have the prediction cards here, you need to hand the deck face down to the spectator. And what they're going to do is start dealing them down onto the table. And the first card on the deck which they're going to deal down is the ace. So you keep doing that and you explain to them that you're going to do mind reading techniques and you're going to tell them in your mind when to stop. So when the spectator stops, that's it done. What you need to do is take one of the prediction cards, put that face up on the deck, and put the rest of the cards on top. So as you can see when we flick through here, we have the prediction card, and the other card which is next to it is the other race. 
So when the spectator has the deck back, you're going to explain to them that you're going to use the same techniques and you're going to make them stop on a predicted card. So the spectator still deals down on the table whenever they feel like stopping. So when the spectator is stopped, you take the other prediction card, you put that on the rest of the deck, put the other deck on top. Now all you need to do is flick through the deck and look for one of the face-up cards. When you have that face-up card, you need to take the face-up card and the card above it, which is face down, and put that on the table. Keep flicking through, look for the other one, as you can see here, that's your other prediction card, and the face down card, which was above it. Now all you need to do is yourself or the spectator to take them cards, flip them over, and as you can see, that's all the four aces, and the spectator has produced the other two aces, which you predicted. So yeah, that's another nice simple trick, and that's the same as the Gemini Twins, however, the little twist on it with the aces. So once you learn this trick of the Gemini Twins, then you have two card tricks in your repertoire which you can produce for different people with different effects and you're not doing the same trick over and over again. However, as it is technically the same trick, you've got that practice in and you have that banter and patter about the different stories so it's much easier to sort of perform it and get used to it. Hope you enjoyed that self-working card magic trick and if you want more self-working card tricks leave a comment below and I'll shoot some more videos regarding them. If there's anything else that you want to learn or have knowledge on then leave a comment below as well and I'll shoot some videos in the near future for that. Along with these tutorial videos, I've also been shooting some other content which I release on a Thursday and it's regarding things like videography, photography, social media and other ways which you can better yourself as a person and a magician, especially when it comes to online performances and performances in person. I hope you've been enjoying those videos and I'm going to be producing more of those in the near future, so keep a lookout for them. And until next time, see ya!